So oh, what's going on guys? So I'm at the shop today. <clears throat> Check out the truck. I guess I did a fuel tank on that one and they forgot to just hook up the lines. But check out the car. It's running and driving already for like, I've been driving it for 15 days. I actually um, park it because it's rainy right now. But I drove it today because, damn. I drove it today because I need to do, um, I got the two plugs for the thermostat, you know, the ones that are ripping, and the one for the alternator. I got the plug for the alternator too, and when I talk the plug, the pigtail, I mean the whole plug. The plug itself and the, and the wires. I even got these two because these are all burnt out. Check it out. Uh, I got those new. Um, also got the crank stuff, which is the sensor. I got to put that on new. Um, and like I said, the three wire alternator plug. And what else? What else? Oh, and the little one plug wire that goes to the alternator next to those three plug wires for this particular type of Mustang from 94, 2004. Um, and the two thermostat um, connections. Let me show it to you right now. So, look at thermostat one and thermostat two. So when I got those new. Um, I got the three prong uh, alternator plug. And the one wire plug, it's right there. I don't know if you guys can see the one wire plug right there. I got that new. Um, did that over there the other day because um, the wire was rotten. So I fixed that real nice. Uh, I got this new, the fuel regulator. That's actually a Motorcraft brand. Fuel regulator, fuel pressure regulator for the 1998 Mustang GT. I got it. Got it on, um, oh shit, I forgot where I got it. I think I got it on Rock Auto. Yeah, got that. I'm going to change that. It's an O-ring behind it. I'll show you the tool that I'm going to use to do that. I'm not going to do that right now, guys. All this electrical wiring stuff, because as you can see, it's wet and rainy real bad. It's an off and on rain. It's really bad out here. I wanted to do it today. Oh shit. But um, I'm not going to do it today. Um, yeah, so Jerry said he was gonna move his truck, but I guess it's already four o'clock too and they close the shop at six, so Hey, if you guys are looking for some good quality work, this is the place um, It might be pricey, but they do the job right. You're not gonna get half-assed jobs like other places. This place really does the job right um, and that's all I can say. It's, you know, they already did my computer, my fuel tank, the programming of the key, and I have to buy a new set of keys like I've been talking, stressing about. Um, ooh, 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 ooh. Uh, I thought someone was gonna peel out or something. I thought someone was gonna do a street takeover right now and take over that little street and, sh and, 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 and take some chicken from the chicken guy. <laughs> but, yeah, guys. That's what we're, what I'm trying to do with the Mustang, get it going, do all those plugs because they're really bad. And also another plug I gotta do, I just don't remember where. Oh, these. I want. I think I'm gonna do this one new, and this one new definitely. I gotta get those new. And that's about it for the Mustang right now, guys. I got the. I think I showed you that I put that on you. The um, idle sensor. What else? What else? What else? Gotta put the new harmonic balancer on. I wanna buy the tool to do the harmonic balancer. Cause I wanna have my own tool to do it, to pull it off. I only got the tool to put it on. I don't got the tool to pull it off. Wait, no, I got the tool to pull it off. I don't got the tool to put it on. That's the tool I, I need. I need the tool to put it on. The harmonic balancer installer kit. And that's what I need. Um, I got the new regulators for both windows. What else? I got the brakes for the rear. I need to get the control arms and the bushings and all that stuff for that. And I need to do the rear, the rear end is just whining bad, really bad. So 
Yeah. Check it out. It's a Chevy. The rims are cool. So that's what's going on with the car, guys. Um, I'll probably do it another day of the wires because it's rainy and stuff. And it's already going to be 5. And I want to do the wiring right. I want to, like, heat shrink, tape. I think I want to order me some of that fabric tape. You know, the one Jimmy Oaks uses. Um, it looks, it's OEM style tape that they use. So I think I want to use that. They use a lot of this, this kind of wire. This plastic protective shield layer protective thing around the system. But that's what's been going on, guys. EGR is working, everything works good, it turns on. I just gotta fix that because sometimes this pops out, that little thing, and it wants to like shut my battery off and go crazy. But I just wanna give you guys an update. You know, it's been 14 days. And I also wanted to talk about my uncle, guys. It's already going to be a year that he's passed away. Uh, yesterday, it's uh, today's the 20th, March 20th. He passed away March 21st. Um, and his birthday's on the 28th, guys. So, if you guys drink or party, drink a beer for him and stuff. Because he was a cool dude and it sucks that he's gone, you know. And, yeah, that's probably why I haven't been uploading around... Around this month kind of gets me real bummed out, you know, and reminds that reminds me that he's gone and stuff. So I just wanted to let you guys know it's gonna be the the passing of my uncle tomorrow, the twenty March twenty first, guys. And his birthday's on the twenty eighth, so drink a beer for him on his birthday. Um, and that's it, guys. All I wanted to do is give an update that I'm driving the Mustang. It works. It runs good. Um, the revving of the RPM it's the fuel regulator I need to change it it's not doing it as much but I need to fix it already uh, once I put that it should fix it hopefully um, should fix it but until I get there I'll make a video on that guys and I'll show you but thanks for watching peace